We have looked at this problem in my previous videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the bending moment diagram and the shear force diagram for this beam arrangement. If you want to know how to calculate these support reactions, then click on this YouTube card here or follow the link in the description box below to a video where I explain that in detail. Let's consider the beam section from point A to point B where we have this externally applied force of 15 kilonewton. Now we can take an imaginary cut at point D and draw the free body diagram for that section. If you don't know how to draw a free body diagram, then check out my video where I have explained in detail how to draw a free body diagram. I will add a YouTube card here and the link in the description box below to that video so you can go and check it out. Now on to the forces acting on this free body diagram. We have a shear force at the cut. Typically the shear force is noted as VOF. In this case, I will note the shear force as V. Then we have a bending moment acting at this cut and let's call that M. There is no axial force at this cut because there are no externally applied horizontal forces acting on this simply supported beam. Then we have our support reaction force of six kilonewton. Now, if we consider vertical equilibrium of this section, then we have two vertical forces. One is this support reaction, six kilonewton, and shear force V acting at this imaginary cut. Therefore, we can write the shear force V acting at this imaginary cut is equal to this reaction force of six kilonewton. So V is equal to six kilonewton. This is valid for any X value between zero to three meters. Now I'm going to consider the moment equilibrium of this section by taking moments at this imaginary cut, which is point D. We have this moment M, which is an anti-clockwise moment. Then we have this shear force V, but the lever arm is zero when taking moments about this point or the imaginary cut. Therefore, V has zero moments about point D. What is left is the reaction six kilonewton and the lever arm is X. So we can write M is equal to six X. You can see that M is an anti-clockwise moment and six kilonewton would result in a clockwise moment when taking moments about this point. This is again valid for any X value between zero to three meters. It is apparent that there is no bending moment at support A, because when X becomes zero, this bending moment M becomes zero as well. Also, you can see that bending moment M increases linearly in value as X increases from zero to three meters. Now it's time to look at the rest of the beam. This time I'm going to take an imaginary cut at point E and then I'm going to draw the free body diagram for beam section AE. Same as before, we have a shear force, let's call it V, and then we have a bending moment, M. Also, we have the support reaction of a six kilonewton. Additionally, what we have is this externally applied force of 15 kilonewton. We have three vertical forces acting on this section of the beam, six kilonewton reaction, 15 kilonewton externally applied force, and this shear force V. For vertical equilibrium, we can write V plus 15 is equal to six kilonewton. You can see this shear force and this 15 kilonewton are acting downwards and six kilonewton is acting upwards. Therefore, we can write V is equal to minus nine kilonewton. And this is valid for any X value between three meters 
and five meters. Now we can look at moment equilibrium of this beam section by taking moments about this point, point E, where we have taken our imaginary cut. We have this anti-clockwise bending moment M. Same as before, shear force V has zero moments about this point because the lever arm is zero when you're taking moments about point E. The moment due to externally applied force of 15 kN is an anti-clockwise moment and the lever arm is x minus 3. So we get this distance. This distance is x minus 3. Now we can write m plus 15 times x minus 3. Both of these are anti-clockwise moments. The support reaction of 6 kN acting at point A results in a clockwise moment and the lever arm is x. Therefore, this is equal to 6x. If you resolve this equation, you get m is equal to 45 minus 9x. This equation is valid for any value of x between 3 and 5. Any x value between this point and this point, which is from 3 meters to 5 meters. It is quite clear that the maximum bending moment occurs at the point where the external force is applied because that's where the minimum x occurs for this particular equation, which is 3 meters. We can write m max is equal to 45 minus 9 times 3. This is equal to 18 kilonewton meter. Also, you can see that the bending moment at support C is 0 because when x is equal to 5, this m becomes 0. Let's calculate the bending moment at support C. Mc is equal to 45 minus 9 times 5 and this is equal to 0 kilonewton meter. Also, you can see from this equation that the bending moment M decreases linearly in value as the X value increases from 3 meters to 5 meters. Now we have finished deriving all the equations to calculate bending moment and shear force at any given point along this beam. Also we have calculated bending moments at particular points such as A, B and C and we are ready to draw bending moment diagram and shear force diagram for this beam arrangement. I have calculated bending moment values along the beam using the equations we have already derived and I have drawn the bending moment diagram here. This axis I'm showing the bending moment values in kilonewton meter and this axis I'm showing the distance from a point A in meters up to point C. As I mentioned before, you can see that the bending moment increases linearly between 0 and 3 and the bending moment decreases linearly between 3 and 5. Same as with bending moment diagram, you can use the equations we have derived to calculate shear force at any given point along this beam. This axis I'm showing shear force values in kilonewton and this axis I'm showing the distance from point A to C in meters. As you can see at the support A, we have a six kilonewton shear force, which is equal to this support reaction. And that stays the same up until this point B where we have the externally applied force of 15 kilonewton. And that's where the shear force goes from a positive value to a negative value and it becomes minus 9 kilonewton and that stays the same up until this support C. You can see that the support reaction is also equal to 9 kilonewton. I hope this video was useful to you and now you are fully capable of drawing bending moment diagrams and shear force diagrams for this sort of beam arrangement. If you have any questions about this video please post your questions in the comment section below and if you like the video please like the video and if you would like to see more videos like this one please subscribe to our channel